food. Today we're gonna make yaya soup, and it's called Tony Fasolada. Fasolada. Fasolada is navy bean soup. Um, it can be served obviously hot with a nice chunk hunk of bread. Um, it's my father's favorite soup, so I'm making it for him tonight. Um, I know everybody's been stashing beans, especially dry beans. So this base can also be translated to other beans. It can be lentils, it can be black beans, it can be split peas. Just remember with dry beans, you have to soak them for at least six to eight hours in cold water so that they can get all the lectin out. We don't want lectin in our beans. Um, ingredients, navy beans, salt, pepper, onion, chopped tomato, garlic, parsley, carrot, celery and then of course we're going to put in a little veggie uh, broth which is tons of veggie broth that you could buy try to look for varieties that don't have sugar added and then ve veggie bouillon that's where all the flavor is going to come as well if you if you want to cook a soup for days and days you won't need the bouillon but if you want to cook and serve the night and serve that night the bouillon is going to help so we're going to start chopping but i need tony to help me chop all right, so it's chop time. Tony's the chop master. He's gonna do uh, the celery. Don't be afraid of the tops. They can offer really good flavor, especially if you're um, looking for almost like a, a slight bitterness, which could be really nice. Here's your parsley. Don't overthink chopping parsley. And of course, use the dark leafy greens. Are very healthy, but you know what? Food is sacred, so I also cook the stems, just to the very end. And then we're gonna do, Tony does an onion because I cry. These little tomatoes, these are seem the freshest to me. It could be any tomato. All you need to do is just chop them up. Make sure with tomato, use a serrated knife. And these guys, we can just chop in half because they're gonna disintegrate in the soup. We're gonna cook the soup for about 45 minutes. So just chop the suckers in half. As far as servings go, we have two bags of navy beans. Um, we're making a big bag because we have people in the house, but you can do uh, one bag of navy beans and then it's like one onion, a half a bunch of parsley, a couple carrots, a couple stalk stalks of celery, a couple cloves of garlic. Don't over or underestimate what you need for any soup recipe, it all will go. So if you like celery more than carrot, then put more celery. If you like carrot more, then put more carrot. Um, and again, try to use all of the vegetables, leaves, stalks, don't waste. We hate waste. All right, so you can cut. And chopping lesson here. Well, I just like. You like it chopped small. I do. I like everything chopped small because I think it's easier to eat that way. So I could be wrong. But that's what I like. And then can you smash the garlic for me? I most certainly And tell do. everybody my secret about garlic. You do not cut the garlic. No. What do you do? Crush it. Just smash it. Smash it. Smash the garlic for me, bud. You got it. It's right here. So here, we're gonna go in close. So with garlic, if you chop garlic, it gets bitter. If you smash garlic, it gets nice and sweet. That's it. So essentially, that's all you need to do with your garlic. Smash one more for me, honey. Smash it! Make sure you wash your hands every time you're cooking. Don't, don't touch your face. Great. So those are perfectly smashed garlics. We're back. All right, we've just chopped. Chopped celery, chopped tomato, more chopped celery, celery, carrots, carrots, garlic, smashed, not chopped. Chopped onion. We have lemon juice here. And then of course we have our soaked navy beans. And you see how they're just living right there in the water? That's actually perfect. I have my veggie uh, broth on the stove getting warm. Um, and we're gonna start now. We're gonna start right here. So of course we always start with onion and garlic. And 
need a little bit more oil. Tony, can you throw in some oil for me, honey? Don't be afraid of oil. This is a, an avocado oil, which runs at a high temperature. Um, but you could also use olive oil as well. The Greeks have been cooking with olive oil at high temperatures for a very long time. And I can promise you they're some of the healthiest people in the world. Garlic needs to be browned or golden, but not like dark. When it gets dark, it gets bitter again. We don't like bitter garlic in this house. Um, what I'm gonna do here is add a little bit of the celery. Tony's gonna add a little bit of the, there we go. Great. Metal spoon, mix it up, don't be afraid. One thing about food is like in cooking is just don't be afraid. Mix it up, cook it up. And this is right about now where I throw in my bouillon. I like to break up bouillon. Don't throw it in as one thing. So I literally with my hands, wash hands of course, I just break it up and I smear it around. The bouillon really adds flavor. There's great bouillons out there. There's organic bouillons, there's miso based bouillons, there's all kinds of bouillons. Take a look at the ingredients to make sure there aren't too many chemicals in there, if any. And don't be afraid of bouillon, especially for your vegetarian vegan cooking. It really can enhance flavors. So look, this is looking really nice. I'll show you with my hand. So what's happening now is the flavors are being like cooked, cooked out of the vegetable, right? So we're gonna have a really nice uh, celery taste, we're going to have a really nice onion and garlic taste, and now we're going to add the carrots. Again, don't be afraid. Smother them with the oil. We're cooking at high heat right now. holder because my handles are getting super hot. Keep that in there. And then I'm just adding a little bit more celery. And it's okay to have like cooked celery and then adding more celery because it's all going to boil together. It's all going to soften up. It's all going to broth together. So again, nothing to be afraid of. Soup, you can't mess up soup. Adding parsley. Notice I'm not adding the tomatoes just yet. The tomatoes are, of course, the easiest to cook. And this is looking really, 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 really nice. Uh-oh. Okay, my pizza thing just came on fire, but that's okay. All right, and now we're going to add the tomato. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to hold on the tomato. What we're going to do is we're going to add the navy. So um, we want to drain the navies because that's where all the lectin is, right? So now I can use hot water. I soak them in cold, but now I'm going to just like wash them in hot because it's going to go into a hot boiling. There's a lot here. We've got six people in the house, but again, one bag can suit about four people. Two bags. This is two bags. So it's essentially like an entire cord of celery. It's about four large carrots, um, a bunch of parsley. So this is a generous amount. So here we go. Looking actually perfect, better than usual. We're adding our navies. These navies are actually going to get a little bit bigger once they get boiled out, even though they've already been soaked. They're so gorgeous. Beans are amazing. They're high fiber, lots of vitamins, iron, protein. It's And now what I'm doing is I'm like slathering all this olive oil and this carrot and this parsley and I'm essentially haven't added any broth if you notice. And actually I may even add one more bouillon just because we do have a lot of beans here and we want to eat tonight. 
And Tony actually knew that, so here it is already. Thanks, Tony. Here we go. Again, break it up, clean hands. And I usually don't add broth yet. Right now, I kind of like to cook it on high heat. Get like, the heat will like open up the flavor of the, all the vegetables and the beans. It's kind of like, it's kind of hard. <laughs> and it's heavy. I think about my yaya a lot when I make the soup. She lived through the depression, born before before World War One. So she lived through World War One. She lived through World War Two. She knows what it means to not have a lot, and she was an amazing woman. She taught me how to do a lot with a little. And I think with this Corona situation, I think we're all going to learn that. And I think it's a really awesome lesson. So now I'm going to add my tomatoes. The tomato is actually very sweet. They're going to add like a little bit of an orange color to the soup once it's all boiled down. I'm using a pizza board right now because it's actually really easy to handle. I don't like to use cooking boards that don't have handles. I love my pizza board. Don't forget the stems of the parsley there. People too. I hate throwing away vegetables. And here we go. Let's get a close up. This is so gorgeous. It's like all the good colors. And what I've done here on the side is I've already warmed up the veggie bouillon, the veggie broth, right? So this is cooking right now. We're at high heat. So I don't want to slow down that cooking. I want to keep that cooking going. So I've actually put this on the, on the stove. It's boiling, which is great. And I'm adding it. Here it goes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm up some water right next to it because I'm gonna add a little bit of water once it gets hot. Just fire that up for a second. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be really generous with the broth that I put in. I like to kind of flatten it. It's kind of one thing I always do when I do soups here. Oh my God, it looks so good. Great. So we've been cooking for about 20 minutes now. Come in, come in, come in. And you see everything kind of frothing together. Our tomatoes have not really disintegrated yet and we want them to disintegrate. So that's gonna take a while. So this is why this has to stay on the stove for about 30 more minutes. So we'll come back in 30 minutes, but it's smelling really good. I haven't added salt and pepper yet. I typically won't do that until I get to the table. Um, I like to let people kind of add what they like. Some people like a little bit more pepper, some like more salt. But I am baking some fresh Portuguese rolls. These are coming out of the freezer. And this is what we're gonna accompany the soup with. They're almost done, and then I'm just gonna keep them on the side. So uh, we can dump that into the soup when we're done. And we'll be uh, back in a half an hour. We have 45 minutes to an hour of cooking. And let's see what, is, what do we have here. Oh my God, it looks so good. So, okay, so first you fill the bean, now broth. And you can always add a little bit more water, like especially now if you want more broth. That's a big bowl of soup. All right, great. So how we used to eat this with my yaya is we used to take a nice fresh piece of bread or roll, a little olive oil, a little salt, pepper, and a little lemon. Kind of like a perfect giant soup crouton. So yummy. And then what I would do is add a little salt, add a little pepper. And then what you can do is just garnish your soup like this. And that, what is that, Tony? Come on in. That is Yaya's. Fasulana! 
Enjoy! Enjoy! Navy beans are a top nine healthiest beans. Iron, protein, fiber, magnesium, B1, B9, it's an antioxidant. Carrots and celery, they have beta carotene, vitamin A, they support your immune system, they support bone density, and then of course your garlic and your onions are superfoods. You guys enjoy Auntie Amas, and we'll see you next time. How's the soup, you guys? The soup is outstanding. It's Unbelievable. pretty amazing. Yasu, yes, everybody. Yasu. 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 We have Yaya tonight. Yasu. Yasu. Tim, can you say that too? Tim, Tim.